Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigvold here and welcome back to another video. This one we're going to take a look at some solid fights, we're back to tier 1 because we just finished Heroic 7 and the biggest threat in tier 1 is going to be Boss Grotz. Now there's a lot of ways to bypass this and for most of you it will most likely be at the very least at first, Kim Flan Sakomen. Well, it depends on how much health he has because you can just clean up with League of Anarchy. The thing that you mainly need for this thing, usually I'm not going to use that here, is going to be a Kryptonite Spear. The Kryptonite Spear is going to pretty much allow you to have unblockable specials after a certain amount of combo depending on the level of the Kryptonite Spear. So what you can do is put that on Predator Batman and use Dark Metal cards on Harley. And Harley will just build combo normally for uh, Predator Batman. You don't even need to change your gameplay and you'll be fine. Now this dude here has uh, the 2 billion health or close to 2 billion health or something like that so that's not gonna work I mean not just that so I uh, am using here Raven with level 10 Sword of Sin. Sword of Sin is uh, an advent of chaos artifact that will uh, allow me to constantly power drain him and uh, we're going to use Dark Null cards on Harley and level uh, uh, 9 I think now I think it's level 9 God Killer and as you can see we're destroying him but I'm gonna stop here because if I did not stop here then I would most likely get unusual gameplay because the game would be like oh there's something wrong there you did too much damage in so all time are you hacking my dude no I'm using the tools that you have put at my disposal but sadly the game does not uh, care about that thing so we're just going to try to extend this fight a bit over there I stopped because he was almost dead trying to put him to a place where it's most safe to the point where if, even if we terribly fail something, we're gonna be fine. Uh, here, uh, I'm gonna show you another example of what you can do. He used the special right. Over here, I'm gonna be able to use my own special right afterwards, even though he had enough power for a shield. That is because uh, the enemy AI does, uh, in this regard at the very least, work on the same rules as you do. After you use a special, you're going to not be able to use a special for a few seconds. And that's uh, it's going to apply for the AI, and you should be able to exploit that. But yeah, there's a lot of ways to tackle this, but for new players it might be a nightmare. I don't know why they put this in the first tier in the first place. But yeah, the very least he's gonna have lower health for the most part until you get to Heroic 7. Now for this team, I opted to swap out uh, Batman Ninja Corolla Grod for Vixen. Because Vixen on one hand provides me with some attack depending on the debuffs on the enemy. And we're going to take more or less full advantage with this because 4 debuffs is the maximum and a lot of times we're gonna have 4 debuffs on her. But at the same time, base attack is going to be kind of garbage in uh, soul rates. What we're really here for is going to be the uh, class advantage that uh, Vixen is going to expand on. So class advantage in just two mobile is not really a big deal. For the most part, you shouldn't necessarily actively try to seek it. But for the League of Anarchy and for the uh, uh, teams that use Beta Club, it's going to be uh, a double efficiency. Because the class advantage is going to increase my damage against her. And it's going to increase my damage on basic attack hits and also increase my dot damage for the Beta Club and the dot damage for the beta club is already depending on the damage that I do on basic attack hit so it's gonna get pretty much a double increase. The trade-off for that is that we're not gonna have Grod here and we're going to be very slow at power uh, generating so that kind of sucks and overall we did okay damage, this could have been uh, better in terms of luck, this could have been played better. The biggest downside is that we couldn't spam 3rd special and the 3rd special is going to put you pretty much at almost 100% lethal attack damage if you do have lethal attack, 100% uh, uh, lethal attack chance if you already have lethal attack chance on your build, which you should, because uh, the 3rd special increases the lethal attack chance that you already have, doesn't give you additional one. And uh, yeah, if you don't have any, that's why your bad ninja team is not dealing damage. Now for the cleanup effort, we're going to use Mr. Freeze thing here. And look, overall the alternatives were to use um, uh, either the bad ninja team Vixen and this team that I use here, or to use the Brainiac plus Grod team, which might not have one shot and we might have uh, ended up in the same scenario here, uh, using uh, Mr. Freeze afterwards without Brainiac for the cleanup, so it's basically the same thing. We're at 10 uh, lethal sacks with Brainiac, we're going to try and push her to the corner. We have classic one Roman in there. 
For passive stats, we're going to have the uh, level uh, 9 God Killer that I mentioned, and we're going to have also level 4 Prometheum Sword. Most likely, I'm gonna eventually cycle the Prometheum Sword for second God Killer because it simply scales better in terms of damage, but uh, we're still uh, a little bit off in terms of that. Uh, like, normally you would upgrade uh, to God Killers at the same time, because it's far cheaper and far more damage efficient to uh, do that, because uh, the increase in level will increase the cost of upgrading, but you get to the attack at the same pace. I just opted not to do that on this account, because I had the level 4 Prometheum Sword, but still not sure how optimal that was. But yeah, easy cleanup for Mr. Freeze, can't wait to have him at higher star rating, so he can do uh, 2 billion damage with that team. I think... 5 star might do it depending on the level of the artifacts or maybe we need to go all the way to 6 stars but yeah we'll, we'll see how that goes. And moving on to the next fight, we're using a Ben Laughs plus Kim Flan Sakoman. I have opted out of using the Ben Laughs uh, uh, Batman team, I just I just don't like the gameplay, I'm sorry. It's just frustrating to play that team because the enemy keeps spamming jump attacks. And imagine having that type of gameplay against the boss uh, Harley, that would be quite annoying. We're going to have Nora Snow Globe King of Land Sakomen, and uh, it's gonna be uh, very far from an optimal experience. Uh, because uh, even though she's a tier 1 boss, she does do a lot of damage compared to the other bosses, because she has. Um, uh, the Berserk ability that makes her deal more damage with the amount of power. Still normally her damage would be just too low for that to matter, but it matters here because we literally have zero passive stats on this team, because I was worried that she wouldn't be able to kill my Kionflan Sakomen at all and we would end up waiting one minute for him to die and get any clones in there. But yeah, boy was I mistaken on that one. So we're running with the League Rates type of health here. So it, it's not it's not gonna be great life for the clones. They're special in there. We use the combo. Right now, ideally, I want her to do super move, and I'm just gonna keep spamming jump attacks. But uh, Boss Harley specifically, I had uh, this happened mostly against Boss Harley. Seems to uh, be uh, quite. Uh, uh, not so friendly to the jump infinite combo because she will randomly block a lot of times and at the same time she's got fast enough basic attack hits and she swipes down a lot so if you wait to see if she blocks she might just mess you up in another way. Yes, we, so we get the first clone in here, almost gets hit with the second part of the special one, there's special in there, swipe down. I'm just gonna back off at this point, I can't rely on the jump attack type of, type of thing. Swipe down again, back off again, engage the combo into our third special. And yes, super move, there's not much I can do about this. Ideally, we would have gotten that out of the way before getting the clones in there, for this reason specifically, but we couldn't really. Now I'm going to try to let my Kaplan Sakuman die, and boy, that did not go well, but it's fine. She's she's in range of one shot of one, my, one of my next teams that I'm gonna use here, so it, it, it's all good. It, it doesn't really matter that much, I'm gonna try and get in there as much damage as I can in the rest of this fight. King back in there doing a super move, a nice 1 million damage there, again no passive stats for them, so yeah, moving on to the next one, we have here the Deathstroke team against uh, boss Captain Cold. Now I did not really need any support characters for him, but this is something that has a small chance to help. Uh, so Atrostus and Green Lantern are going to give you a certain amount of buffs when you get tagged in. And those are going to thankfully apply to the clones. Now, out of all the buffs, uh, the uh, reflective shield from Atarasitus will be somewhat useful. Uh, the stun on basic attack hits will be somewhat useful. The lethal attack chance and uh, crit damage that those guys give will be totally useless. And what we're really looking for is power generation, because uh, Green Lantern generates some power for you, and it tries to steal some power for you. This is a thing that will only trigger once when the clone gets tagged in, so it's not gonna be the very impactful, we got reflective shield and we got uh, crit damage on this first clone, so not, didn't really do much. But it, it's better than nothing, I guess. And yet again, I was scared of putting Horrific Scarecrow in here, uh, because uh, I uh, thought that yet again we might just not get killed. Also, no passive stats for this team. Trying my best to push him to the corner here. Because we can easily come and chop him, and that's pretty much the best spot to do it on. Come and chopped again. Another special two. Come and chopped again. Into another special two. Now, what we're going to run into is huge. 
power generation issues. And it's something that I wonder and let me know in the comments uh, if any of you guys have tested that out. In theory, Nora's Snow Globe uh, artifact thing applies to the clones because they, they are summoned by it. I'm wondering if the artifact bonuses do apply to the clones because if you could get some uh, power generation bonuses on the Nora's Snow Globe then, and they would work on the clones, that would be amazing. So let me know if any of you have any power generation on Nora's Snow Globe and if that works. Taking the stroke in here using a special 2, he's not done yet with his percentage shell damages, so we might as well get that out of the way. Tagged out the first clone because we just simply did not have enough time to get the best out of both of them, and this clone got smashed here at the start. Not a great time for it. Here we managed to engage the combo, another special 2. Come on, chopped again. Another special 2. Come on, chopped again. In the last minute, the power generation issues are not that big, but it's the last minute and we, we got a lot of things to do, we, we can't just rely on it. Our special 2 in there. Come on, shot again. And even in the last minute, we still have to wait a long ass time before having enough for a special 2 and I messed up the combo interruption there, so my bad. We're going to see how much juice is left in the original Deathstroke. Our special 2 in there. And it's gonna be the low value, so it means we're done represent the child. So I guess we could have squeezed in one more additional with the previous clone if we didn't mess up. Getting a super move in there, and that's gonna be about it for this fight. Overall, this went well. Far better than the uh, uh, Kim Flan Sakuman Bill Left fight. Now we're going to use a Manta here. He's not gonna be able to clean up, but he was the last team uh, I had available. Uh, I'm not gonna have many supports to give him. Uh, I'm gonna use the Jokra's Batranks at level 5, allowing me to have 4 fast stack hits and also giving me a damage buff uh, as soon as I use a special. Bane will be there for the additional uh, attack on basic attack hits and Red uh, Hood will be there for the additional duration of the fights. And yeah, it's just the best I could give him. I could have also given him uh, Silver Green uh, Lantern. But uh, that wouldn't have really mattered because we, we can't come when chopped. Over there, very, very unlucky on the tag and after we had good super move and lost all my combo. But having 4 fast stack hits make that not such a big deal because we can just stack it back up. And we're going to switch him to the uh, special 2 spam gameplay. Not sure Red Hood was the best choice here because what I could have done instead was given him a power girl. And instead of having additional duration of the fight we could have transitioned into the special 2 spam combo part sooner because it would have been cheaper. Uh, special is disabled, but I was not gonna use that anyway because it's not reliable and that doesn't stagger the enemy enough. And the third special is just too expensive. But yeah, that's gonna be about it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike if, uh, if you disliked it. And um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one, hopefully. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. I upload every single day, mostly two videos. If I'm not out there drinking with the boys, that's, that might lead into the subsequent day having only one upload. So when there's only one video uploaded, you know what happens. But yeah, thanks so much for watching it again. Let me know in the comments about that Nora Snow Globe thing, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye! This is the future.